Hey, it's Jen Dunn with Rustic Rehabs. In today's edition of Other People's Junk, I am so excited to be part of a collaboration with Jamie and Zeb and their business coaching. Please watch this video and all the videos that are linked to it as we're all working hard to build our YouTube channel. So today we are taking some milk cans. We are making them into dual purpose Christmas and reversible. So check it out. A piece I failed to record is I always clean my pieces with crud cutter in the yellow bottle before I get started. It is non-toxic and it does a great job of getting all the sticky, grimy ick off of my furniture and cans. cans are special to me because I grew up in Wisconsin, the dairy state, and I love anything old and rustic and I love to reinvent things. So this seemed like a perfect video for me to share my love of the farm boho look and uh, repurposing. Now keep in mind when you're doing this and you're using red, it can look like a crime scene. It gets uh, pretty messy and um, but it's worth it. See how to dance her. Hi, dancer. You need to get away. You need to be a black, white, and red dog. <laughs> okay, so now that we have painted this bad boy, put two coats on. Um, I'm going to seal it with this satin exterior paint by General Finishes. Um, I can too, looks like a crime scene, but it's almost all gone, so I'm just dunking right in and going to town here. This stuff works pretty good. Um, I give one good coat. I usually do two coats of this stuff, and then it's pretty weather resistant. Um, I live in Wisconsin, so these things, if they're going to be out for the holidays, need to be able to take a beating of cold, rain, snow, you name it. So we'll do this. And then we will move on to seal the top for our tables. And um, then we'll skip to stenciling. Buffalo plaid. I'm taking my Jamie Ray vintage Buffalo plaid stencil. Very well loved. I don't wash my stencils in between. They hold up just fine. You do you. I've got my disc, my tabletop. It's been painted and sealed. And I'm going to take the Buffalo plaid. I'm going to center it on my piece. I'm going to put it on my lap, which is not recommended, but hey, we're getting this done. I've got my Junk Monkey in black velvet. I'm going to grab a little of this. I'm going to grab a piece of cardboard. Leave. I like this for this one. It's just going to go a little faster. Again, you can use whichever one. They both work great. I'm just very impatient. So I like to, uh, to hit it and go fast. All right. Let's see. There we go. I'm a pouncer. I know there are people out there the swirl method. I have not perfected the swirl method yet. So we're going to pounce and we're going to get her to There we go. There's fir there's the first uh, first go ahead. Now, when I line it up, you got to make sure that you line it up with the right squares. Don't just grab any old lines and put them there. Make sure that you are putting the pattern as it matches, right? Overlap it a little bit, they're fine. And make sure that you're putting, right, the, the diagonal stripes and all of those patterns, make sure they match up. Or you'll be mad and you'll be like, if you're like me, try to not say bad words, you don't have to paint it over and do it again. Some of them are pretty subtle. It works better when you do it on a table. 
instead of on your legs out in the, out in the driveway. All right, now we're ready to let this dry for a minute and then we will grab our Gorilla Glue construct, Gorilla Construction Adhesive, say that 10 times fast, and we will start making a table. We're gonna take this baby, she's been sealed. We are going to make it a reversible milk can table. So this is going to be the year round thing. This is the JRV Wildflower Stencil, one of my very favorites. Yes, I did tape it. I taped it very gently because this paint is fresh. I just did it today. Um, use at your own risk. It's better to do it, let it sit overnight, but we're making videos here. So I am grabbing my Junk Monkey Vintage White and I got my, this has got my 18. I've got my piece of cardboard. And again, I'm offloading, right? I'm gonna get that good and dry. And then we're gonna go to town. Now my brush actually had a little bit of black on it from a few minutes ago. So it's gonna be a little gray or a little multi-dimensional actually. And I'm good with that. So on the back of this one is going to be our Christmas. I'm using the JRV um, Farm Fresh Christmas Tree Stencil. Again, you can get this at rusticrehabs.com. And I'm just grabbing some painter's tape. Little tip: make sure that your piece, make sure that you're getting it centered. I have a reputation of doing things a little too fast and then sometimes having to do it twice. Who's my people out there? I'm sure I'm not okay. All right, so what we're gonna do with this one is we're going to do it all over white, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to add a little bit of black. I'm going to grab my same brush. I'm going to just get a little bit of black on the tip and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to highlight. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bring in close. It's not heavy, it's not heavy. <laughs> all right, now for this one, I'm gonna show you how to use, if you want all the stencils, but can't have all the stencils, you can still fake it and, and get more bang for your buck. So this is a pumpkin patch one, right? We're gonna use just the truck and we're gonna use some trees from a different stencil. They do sell just the truck now, and so you can get the truck and then you can get, um, pieces of uh, accessory packs. Oh no! Get back there. This is actually a little bit wet still. The paint is a little bit wet. This is not, this is not recommended. So here what we're gonna do, again taped it down. I'm gonna do just the truck. I'm not gonna do the pumpkins. I'm actually gonna do just the truck in white here. See if I can use my big mama here on the tire. I'm gonna grab this fresh Christmas tree one again and then put that up top. So you can get multiple looks 
some different stencils. You can make your investment go a long way if you uh, look at what you got and think about being creative. You can tape things off if you're afraid that you might um, might go over into the wrong spot, but uh, I like to live a little dangerous. Um, let's do the cut and carry down here too. going to grab a different, I don't have the accessory pack yet, it's uh, in the mail, so I'm going to grab these, which is a different one that I have had for a few years. I'm going to grab one of these little trees, I'm going to put it at a diagonal, and I am not going to stencil it below the truck, I'm just going to stencil it right where it hits the truck, so that it looks like there's a tree in the back of the truck. I'm going to get a tiny switch of black again. Kind of like that little puppy. Look a little more tree-like. Ta-da! So let me show you this one close up. This one's lighter. Kind of fun, huh? You could get out all the different colors if you wanted to do that too. But, uh, yeah. I lost the footage where I put the top on. So you just take this uh, heavy duty adhesive, put a bead of it on, put the top on, make sure it's level and centered, and you're good to go. And the last step is to grab our outdoor sealer again and seal up all of our hard work. I've just been using the same brush all day. Use the brush that I used to paint it with. Um. This last pick is of a sentimental one. The can came from my dad's farm and sits on my front porch. For the products I use today and more, please visit rusticrehabs.com. I'd love it if you would smash that like button and subscribe so that I can keep making more videos like this. Take care and thanks so much.